In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create star trails in Photoshop. First, you're going to need a night sky image with some stars in the background like the one we have today. Then, you're going to start by duplicating your image by clicking on Ctrl or Command J, or you can drag it to the new layers icon. Then, you're going to change the blending mode of that copied layer to lighten. So this blending mode will only show the brightest pixels in the image, therefore only the stars will be visible. If your sky is a little bit brighter and some of it is showing, you can add the levels adjustment layer and make the sky darker and the stars lighter. Then click on Ctrl or Command G to group that layer. Now to achieve this effect, we're gonna be using the step and repeat feature in Photoshop to make multiple copies of this layer and rotate them at the same time. So how this feature work is you're gonna click on Ctrl Alt T or Command Option T to get to the free transform and enable step and repeat. Then you have your anchor point in the middle and you can move this anchor point to specify your rotation point. In this case, I'm gonna change my rotation point to the top left corner. Then you're gonna click on this box to set your rotation angle and make sure to add a very low value. In this case, I'm gonna add 0.05 degrees to rotate my image clockwise and make sure to input a low value so that the stars don't get spaced out from each other and the effect does not look great. Once you have entered the rotation degree, you're gonna click on the checkbox to accept the changes and now all of the changes that we just did in the free transform will be registered in step and repeat. Now all we need to do is to tell Photoshop to repeat this step by clicking on Ctrl Alt Shift T or Command Option Shift T multiple times. And as you start doing that, you will notice that the star trail effect will start to form. So make sure to add enough of these to your liking to achieve the results that you want. Also keep in mind that making a lot of these copies will increase your file size and it may crash Photoshop. So make sure that your system is capable of doing this and the image resolution is low. Once you have created all of the copies, select the group and then click on Ctrl E to merge all of those copies into one layer. And then you can change the blending mode back to lighten. And now the last thing that you need to do is to bring back the trees in the foreground. So turn off the visibility of the star trails layer for the moment, then select the background layer and then use the quick selection tool to select all of those trees in the foreground. You can also refine your selection by clicking on the Select and Mask button, take the Refine Edge Brush tool, and you can use the Opacity slider to reduce the visibility of the foreground, and you can also change the View Mode to Overlay, and then use the Refine Edge Brush tool to paint on the edges and refine the layer mask. Once you do that, make sure to change the Output Mode to New Layer with Layer Mask, and then click OK. And now all you need to do is to drag that layer to the top and then turn on the visibility of the star trails and the background layers. You can also increase the contrast of the star trails layer to reduce the visibility of some of these stars by creating a new levels adjustment layer on top of the star trails layer and then create a clipping mask. Then you can use the mid-tone slider to hide some of these stars in the background. In this case, I only want to hide the stars at the bottom, so I'm going to invert the layer mask by clicking on Ctrl I, and then I can use the brush tool with 50% flow and opacity, and only paint on that area. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can easily create star trails with one image in Photoshop. You can also get creative with the rotation angle and scale, and you can do that by increasing the width percentage with the low value like 100.05% along with the rotation angle and the anchor point and then use the step and repeat again and you will get some unique and amazing results. And one last thing to keep in mind is that you may encounter some weird looking edges because of the foreground elements and you can easily fix that by changing the rotation point and you can also change the rotation angle to counterclockwise. You can also completely separate the background stars or use different star images to get a clean result. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. That's how you can easily create star trails in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on new tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.